all of us who work in HIV know that you know a, quite a large proportion of our patients are women and we need to think about providing services for them specifically. Women are not seen as a key population although we are over 50% of the global numbers diagnosed and living with HIV. Just under 40% of women still are diagnosed late, so they're diagnosed with the CD4 less than 350 and a proportion are still diagnosed with AIDS and that's a real tragedy. At the Royal Free Hospital in London, HIV specialists are tackling the rising rate of HIV in women and helping with the many unique issues women face in diagnosis and treatment. Dr Margaret Johnson set up one of the first clinics for women with HIV 10 years ago. They continue to serve the needs of this forgotten population, which on a global level makes up 51% of people with HIV. In the UK, just over a third of those living with HIV are women, who also comprise 22% of new diagnoses. Women are, you know, very shocked by the diagnosis. Um, they very often are, don't have very much support, and therefore coming to terms with the diagnosis um, is really difficult. So I was diagnosed HIV positive just over 14 years ago. There were behaviours where I put myself at risk, but I still didn't expect it. I think it's the most vulnerable I've ever felt. The attention has gone perhaps thinking that HIV in the UK is, a, is an, an infection that affects mainly men who have sex with men and women can be more marginalised within that. There's a myth or there are myths in terms of how HIV is transmitted. So if you don't fall in what they call the risk groups, you wouldn't necessarily think I need to go for an HIV test. When I tested, I certainly didn't think. Looking back, I actually think, think I was quite naive. Quite a lot of women do present late with HIV with already quite advanced infection. And there's a number of reasons for that. And I think the greatest is stigma, the fear of HIV, the fear of being judged by others and judging oneself, perhaps, leads women to deny that they need to go and have a test. Clinicians don't think about it. The patient may you know, not know they've been at risk um, and they don't know where, really where to go and to talk about it. And it's not something in the UK that GPs really are involved in. They may well not know anyone else with HIV. And that differs from the gay men that I look after who will know other people in their communities with HIV, will be able to, you know, talk to somebody when they're diagnosed. While many of the women that I look after um, really have, you know, don't know who to turn to. I think the models around service provision are not gender specific enough. I, I think the, the current model is one model fits all and it, and it doesn't. So one thing that we did here was to set up a women's clinic which was around the middle of the day so the women are picking up their children would be able to attend and we provided some sort of facilities for children to play as well. One thing I would want to clearly state is that the drugs are changing. We can manage HIV, what we need to manage is the side effects to make them manageable for the long term for decades. What you see is, is that many of the women have to change treatment or stop treatment and that's um, driven by side effects. And I think it's partly due to the fact that most of the phase two, three clinical trials have mainly been done in men. And very often there's only 10% of those patients recruited are women. It's only really been over the last um, 18 months or two years have we had any studies that have um, been powered to look at the differences in, in treatments in women. So we've had the WAVE study and the ARIA study. And I mean, those were a first, however, you know, more than 30 years after the beginning of the epidemic. I'd like to see more research that is designed around women uh, to collect data that will better inform the biomedical and the social needs of women living, ageing with HIV. Hi, my name is Kelvin and I work on the team that creates the content that you've just seen, Medscape TV. If you like the content and want to see more, click on the button to the right and it'll take you to the full series.